Lisa has now joined the contestants in the green room. It's her job to make sure that they're all as happy and as calm as possible during this last wow. part of the final. And to do this, she's made sure that she, that she knows everything there is to know about the contestants. And when I say everything, I mean absolutely everything. This shouldn't be That is correct, awkward. Nikolai. For instance, my research tells me that um, Richard from Malta has had a really tough time during his stay here in Copenhagen, because the thing is, he really loves English breakfast. Isn't that right, Richard? I adore English breakfast. I know, and yes. I know that every morning has been a struggle here since the hotel you've stayed in has not been serving your favorite breakfast, isn't that right? No, they don't have sausage and bacon. I, know. I love sausage and bacon. Yeah, and the <laughs> thing is, I just feel like apologizing <laughs> on behalf of my country. That is such a major mistake. <laughs> so, to cheer you up, here is some oh. English breakfast, Richard. You couldn't get bacon in Copenhagen? And I just hope that we're good now. Uh, yes, we're very wow. good. We're good. We're very good. I got so glad to hear that. Best of luck that tonight. All right, you guys, over here is Molly hey. from the UK. Hello, Molly. There she is. Anders, the co-writer and producer, is you know sitting what? beside I her. Did, uh, I did my research on you too, obviously, and I found out that you love cake. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that you love baking cake back home in your kitchen in London. Sometimes, right? sometimes. I'm sometimes. sometimes. Lisa doesn't exactly. eat much cake. But I also know that your favorite cake is not one of your own cakes. It is the Curly Whirly cake from uh, your local baker in the Borough Market, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. And because I want you to feel as comfortable and calm as possible here tonight, I uh, I went for a little trip to London and got the curly whirly cake for you. So here you go, my dear. Here you go. Molly's face. It is, is really amazing. What we're all thinking. I tasted it. Did you? So Did Molly, you that is ridiculous. <laughs> yes, it Molly, it is ridiculous. And I just want to say, I know that your mom and dad, Jan and Dave and your brother Sam, who are here with you tonight, yeah. would love to share this They're with They're not you. getting any. This is all for me. Really? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> just one piece of advice, yeah. though. Do save a little slice for good old grandmother Joan back in uh, the UK. Yeah, I'll save her a bit. No one else yeah, getting any. Yeah, she's <laughs> 91 years old 92, and still driving a car. Yeah, That's she's quite amazing. impressive. <laughs> she is amazing. Lisa's well, like do enjoy. Those Danish detectives. Nice talking to you, Molly. She knows everything. Everything. All right. It who's certainly get, is who's wonderful get some food to see now? so many happy people here in the green room tonight. And um, speaking of truly happy people, let's meet the boys from France. <laughs> These guys are Hello, wild. Hello, Laurent, Francois, Patrick. Listen, I know that you guys love going out to eat back in Paris, and I just want to see if you recognize this restaurant on this picture. She's a feeder, isn't she, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah? They don't look what like they this? do. Uh, actually, they... I don't know. Hey. <laughs> I can tell you, this is your favorite Asian restaurant, the Apsara <laughs> restaurant. Really? Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. From your old neighborhood in Montreux, Boulevard Chancy. I know you go to eat there all the time. <laughs> and You're crazy. Since you haven't been I able to eat there while well, you've been in Copenhagen, <laughs> obviously. I just had a little trip to Paris and got the menus from the Epsara restaurant for you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, guys, I'm thinking, if you were to order okay. something from the menu tonight, would it be the chicken curry bourbon, as always? You, you must the soup. The soup is the better thing soup. that you can hit. Oh. Of course. Oh. Of course. She didn't get the Take soup, the soup. The okay. Yeah. Okay, that is actually my mistake, because I took the liberty of ordering for you already. So, all the way yeah. from Paris Earlier, is here, the chef that and manager from the Epsara restaurant, Jean-Pierre. Can we have the food, Jean-Pierre? <laughs> I think they know him. <laughs> Are you serious? So have a good evening, you guys. And Actually, ladies that is and gentlemen, as you can see, we do our best to make our contestants feel at home. And in Denmark, we do that by serving lots of food. You're so lovely. Thank you so much. Oh, lovely. Oh, my God. Cut away before she eats anything.